these are chemicals you use in Australia in everyday use. Uh, how's everybody going? Day 11. Uh, we finished the aged care centre today. Did some touch-ups and stuff there. Um, so that's all tidied off. We got that all buttoned up. Um, there wasn't really much to film there. They're only basically just cobwebs and stuff. So um, didn't do much filming today. We were there for just on half a day. So we've done that and moved away. So I thought I'd just spend the afternoon just talk about the chemicals that I use, um, the chemicals that I have for backup or bits and pieces, but mainly just my basic chemicals. I don't use that much. Um, I don't get a lot of stain removals and all that type of stuff, but this is what I use and this is my range. So what I use is my surfactant line, which um, I get from Softwash Australia. This is my Apple Wash mixed with my EVC is what I've used to clean basically all my houses, um, all my roof mixes, everything, those ones combined. So where you mix um, a kit of this, which is five liters, and then a liter of apple wash into my tank, and then mix it up with water. And then that gives me my blend of chemicals is that that's my main stuff that I use probably the thing that I use second would be my degreaser which is the world's best degreaser from the world's best graffiti removalist um, we buy that from South Australia so it's nice and easy to come up it's about $80 a bottle those ones there are about $80 a bottle each as well. That one's about 80 bucks a bottle. And then um, my bare brick stone and mason graffiti removal is what I like using. I do buy that in a little, probably about $400 at a time. So it's free shipping. So it's pretty good that way. I don't do a lot of inflorescence removal um, but I bought this for a customer's house and I haven't used it since so it's just been sitting around um, so I don't really do a lot of that but you know I I could possibly move on to a bit more of that and then we bought some restorer for a um, driveway job that had a, a stain in it and it worked really well but as you can see from the bottle, it doesn't get used that much. Um, it does explode the bottle a little bit, so you just got to be careful with that and storing it. The biggest um, range I got is I got I use three different products for my rust. So oxalic acid. This is a granule form of oxalic acid. So you gotta mix it up with water and break it all down. Um, so you can use that to clean all your decks, your timber, um, rust, and any like type of grease stain type thing. But then when it comes to rust, sometimes you need to go a little bit stronger. So you need a bit of like sulfuric acid So that one's that one there. So I try and use this one first to see how it comes up. Then I move to this one. And then three ways is a car care product, um, but it removes iron. And I've used, that is done really well on sandstone and um, delicate stones where around a pool they have the umbrellas around the pool that have a little square feet and that's removed um, staining before I've sealed it so this comes really handy for around pools just to get rid of all that hard um, 
rust that you might find. Sometimes you can get it around the taps and stuff like that. Like this little picture. Like that will come off with that three-way. So it's really good. Stinks a bit, but um, it's really good. So it's just basically a basic video. That is the whole range that I use. Anything more than that, um, I don't really go into. I don't really want to do those fields if they're custom. If it's a big job or something like that, I might look at it, but um, like hydrochloric acid, if it's um, stripping back a section, I'll look at it, but uh, mostly I don't do those jobs or I don't get those jobs um, just because they're quite messy and it's just not me. It doesn't work for my business and I just don't go that way. But other people might. Um, hydrochloric acid is great for brick cleaning and all that type of stuff, but I just don't do that work. So I do more like roof painting, re-screwing and line marking. So that's my other sources of income when washing is a little bit low or slow for me um so i tend to go other ways that i specialize in rather than trying to chase chemicals that i know how to use them i just choose not to use them um because hydrochloric acid and brick cleaning can be quite consuming in work wise and labor and i I'm not, not interested in that. So I'll let other people do that and handle that. That's fine. Um, the other thing I want to speak to everybody about is, I know it's great. Everybody um, likes to comment and that's my work mobile. Um, and that goes straight to the wife that takes all the calls and stuff. I have a Facebook group called um, Aussie Wash. I'll put a link in the description and the link in the comments and um, it's a private group but if you invite yourself I'll let you in and we can go in there and we can talk about all your problems or anything uh, wash related there's all about 50 odd guys in there at the moment so there's heaps of guys willing to help um, all your questions and all that type of stuff so jump on to Facebook let yourself into Aussie wash and then um, let's build a community of people that don't argue, don't whinge about a thing. You know, you want to find out a question without being told that you're an idiot or you shouldn't charge those prices. Um, go in there, you'd be unsure. You can always ask the question to the guys, how much would you charge for this? And then you post all your photos and stuff up in there. People have done it and They've got variable different prices from everybody, but you know, that's what the group was set up for is to help people in their journey to make more money or build connections with local people in the area because you can always work in well with other local guys, especially if they're solo crews, because if they get a really big job and they're a solo guy, they might just pass it off and not do it. Or they can team up with the next guy around the corner and knock it out and make 50% of the money, which could be, you know, 20, 30, 40,000, depends on the size of the job. So it's always good to make connections with other pressure washers in the area. I don't say like everybody, but work with somebody that works like you, because then you know the quality of work. You don't have to worry about them on site and they're doing the same thing as you're doing. They're looking for bigger jobs. And then when they get that bigger job, they call you up. So it's another source of getting more income from another pressure washer, as well as you feed him work, he feeds you work. I've hooked up with two or three guys and that's what we do. Every bigger job we hook up and we, we kill it. So yeah. All right, this is just a short video. We might just do a quick run through on the chemicals again. So our main surfactant is Apple Wash and EBC mixed together. Then the second chemical we use the most is our degreaser, which is the world's best, $80 a bottle. And then our graffiti remover is our, sec our third one. And then this would be our fifth chemical. 
these are our backup rust chemicals in the restorer.